Hey you, welcome to my channel. It is Ty Simone, aka Ty Pi Too High, and I'm back with another video. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to be sharing with you some general copywriting information, okay? Please note, I am not an attorney, so for more in-depth information on the legalities of copywriting, you'll want to check with an intellectual property attorney, okay? You'll want to check with one of those. If you are new to my channel, my name is Thais Simone, and I am an illustrator, a writer, a poet, a graphic designer, a website designer, an electrical designer, an architect. Honestly, I'm so many things. The list is like, wow. Okay, the list is like, wow. <laughs> but today I am a humble student learning and growing with you on our journey to owning super successful, properly copyrighted, self-published children's books. Okay, okay, you feel me. Yeah, you feel me. You feel me. I know you do. So in this particular series, I'm going to be sharing with you how to self-publish your very own children's book. Okay. So if you're interested in that type of content, please make sure to like, share, and comment on these videos so I know what to make more of. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos and or content updates on how to create more material for you and your audience because you know, you gotta do it for the fans. So, what is a copyright? I'm gonna tell you. A copyright literally means your right to copy something and your right to grant or deny permission for others to copy that same something. A copyright is the exclusive legal right given to an originator or an assignee to print, publish, perform, film, or record literary, artistic, or musical material and to authorize others to do the same. Technically, the minute you start writing, drawing, or creating anything, you own the technical copyright to that work. Although you may own the technical copyright to your work, that alone is not enough to protect you in legal disputes concerning the work. So if you want to claim damages from people that have copied your work without your permission, you want to make sure that you register your copyright with the U.S. Copyright Office. Hey Ty, why would I register the copyright to my book? Registering your copyright with the U.S. Copyright Office prevents your work from being copied, prevents the unauthorized distribution of your work, whether it's free or charged, prevents printing or lending copies of your work, prevents playing, performing, or sharing your work in public, and prevents your work from being posted on the internet without your permission. Although legally registering your copyright prevents all of these actions from being taken on your work, the U.S. Copyright Office does not actually enforce or monitor whether or not these actions are being taken on your work and when and where your work is being used or violated. So, you and your team are responsible for making sure that your work is not being abused or used without your permission. Should you ever find yourself in a situation where your work is being used without your permission, with your registered copyright, you are then able to take action against those violations or those people or entities, those copycats that are using your work without your permission. Without your registered copyright, it's very challenging to prove who actually owns the work. Hey Ty, how long are copyrights good for? In the US and the UK, copyrights last 70 years after the death of the originator. Now, for joint copyrights or copyrights with multiple people, these copyrights last 70 years after the death of the last originator. 
world. Hey Ty, what happens when your copyright expires? When your copyright expires, your work becomes public domain. Now public domain is the state of belonging or being available to the public as a whole. Now, when your work is available to the public as a whole, it is no longer subject to copyright. So anybody, like literally anybody, can copy your work without your permission. That's why we have Shakespeare in high schools today. Hey Ty, how do I copyright my book? Under the copyright law, once a work of original authorship is fixed in a tangible medium, that work is then technically copyrighted. In other words, once you get your ideas out of your head and onto something physical, something tangible, then your work is copyrighted. However, if you ever wanted to go to court for any reason concerning your work, you want to make sure that that work has a registered copyright with the U.S. Copyright Office. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to dispute or challenge like who made what, when, and where. In the U.S. and the U.K., to register your technical copyright, you'll want to visit the U.S. Copyright Office. Once registered, you can use the registered copyright as proof of ownership in lawsuits. You are also able to file lawsuits for copyright infringement or violations of the copyright owner's rights and obtain damages or compensation for infringement. The phrase, the poor man's copyright, refers to the practice of mailing a copy of your work to yourself. But clarified in Section 411 of the Copyright Act, a certificate of registration or refusal from the U.S. Copyright Office is a prerequisite to bring a copyright infringement case into federal court. Hey Ty, where do I register my copyright? You can register your copyright at www.copyright.gov. Here, you can search copyright records, register your work, view copyright law, and any fees that may be associated with copywriting your work. Hey Ty, how much does it cost to copyright my material? You can either copyright your material online or through the mail. Now, if you do it online, that process is $35 and it takes about six to seven months. Now, if you do it through the mail, that process is $85 and it takes longer than six to seven months. So, choose wisely between the two, but get your work copyrighted. Hey Ty, do I need a registered copyright before I self-publish my book? So it's not necessary for you to have a copyright in order to self-publish your book because if you're self-publishing, you don't have to consult with a publisher or any other entities in order for you to publish your book. But you do want to make sure that everything that's included in your book, you have the rights to. However, as discussed earlier, having a registered copyright may not be necessary, but it does still provide that extra layer of security. So if you ever feel like you may need to go to court in the future to claim any damages for your work or to just be protected, you wanna make sure that you still get your copyright. In order to effectively use your new copyright, you wanna make sure that you make a copyright page. Now a copyright page comes right after the title page of a book and before the table of contents or the actual story of the book. So you want to make sure that you make one of those and you put it right there. Hey Ty, what goes on a copyright page? Here are some basic things you want to make sure are included on your copyright page. The copyright symbol, the year published, author name or publisher name, ordering info, reservation of rights, book editions and ISBN numbers, website relevant work and contact info, credits including editors, co-writers, designers, etc. So that is my video on copywriting. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you've learned something new, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. 
and chat with me in the comments of this video. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you have any insights or anything that you want to add or share, please reach out in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notification bells so you don't miss out on any new videos and or updates. And again, thank you so much for being here. You are truly legendary. If you made it to the end of this video, I am very grateful. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you. If you are interested in more behind the scenes content on projects that I'm currently working on, or if you wanna see the rest of this series before the rest of YouTube, please consider checking out my Patreon. Patreon is a platform for creators to create more of the content that we all love and offer supporters, patrons, and fans the opportunity to receive exclusive access to benefits. I am currently revamping my Patreon to have more of a focus on creating content that centers around writing, illustrating, and self-publishing children's books. I'm currently creating pre-formatted interiors for notebooks published on Amazon KDP in all sizes that are offered, and I'm thinking to give my patrons a few freebies. So, make sure you check it out. So please consider supporting one of your favorite artists and check me out. It would really mean the world to me. Thank you so, so, so much for being here. You are truly legendary and I love you. And until next time. Later.